大家好，你好 ，Hi guys, my name is Shema, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've done a part one to this video, but a lot of you guys were asking for part two, and I decided to film the video today. I'm so sorry if my energy seems kind of different. If you're a returning subscriber and you're used to like seeing me hyper and all over the place, that's because I'm a little bit sick today. But today is the only day that I have that I'll be able to film because I have a very very busy schedule this week. So yeah. Normally, if you're a new subscriber, this is not how low my energy is. I'm usually very, very hyper and all over the place, but I'm very sick, so we are going to work with what we have today. So as you can tell by the title, it's basically small business ideas that you can start in university and how to not be a broke university student. So let's just get into it. I think I'm going to start with small business ideas because I did a part one to this video. If you're a new subscriber or if you're just coming across my channel for the first time, I did a part one to this video where I explained a whole lot of things so we can check that video out after you're done with this one so i made a list of all the small business ideas i have and i'm just going to read out to you guys for a little bit of back context i do have a successful small business so i'm not just saying these things out of just you know no knowledge or no background knowledge or anything you can go to shopwithgemma.co to check out my own personal business or you can go to shopwithgemma on instagram to also check out my personal business i sell a lot of things so yeah let's just get into this in most of this business you need to know how to properly import from china and from other countries for you to be able to do this business or you need to have a supplier in nigeria here that can be supplying you these goods and because i am a very very amazing person i was able to get a very very um reliable person who can teach you how to successfully import from china and she teaches she takes classes i think her classes are like seven thousand or seven five i'm not really sure but i advise you to learn how to import from china and also a little bit of first business on the list is even if you learn how to import from China, it's not necessarily you learn how to import from China simply because you want to import things. You can learn how to import from China just to teach other people. And I think this is what some of my um, my followers do. They learn how to import from China and they, they teach other people how to import from China as well with a price. So they charge them maybe like 5,000 or 6,000. And this is a very, very good way of making money from yourself because you're learning a skill for just 7,000 and you're teaching other people for 5,000 or 10,000 or and you're making your money back you've made your initial capital back you're making extra profit and you're making savings so think about it first on our list is crocs now crocs is a very very huge part of the world right now i think everybody and anybody uses crocs i use crocs i'm kind of obsessed with crocs actually there are also really really good crocs that you can get from china you can import them from china for as low as four thousand or five thousand naira, and you can resell them for as high as fifteen thousand naira. like i kid you not I know someone who does this, she imports at at least maximum amount she's spending on each crocs is now up to six thousand naira and she resells them for twenty thousand, twenty five thousand naira. So you just think about it. You can start this business with hundred thousand naira or even seventy thousand naira, depends on how many designs that you want to get and how good your advertisement skill is. Next thing is glasses and glass frames and glass ropes. I'm going to put pictures on the screen in case if you don't know what I'm talking about. So this business is something that I'm actually involved in. And you can import glasses for a very very low price and then you resell at your own personal price also you need just fifty thousand naira to start this business actually you don't need a lot of money to start the business you can even start with, with thirty thousand naira and as long as you're just selling the glasses and the glasses and stuff like that you'll be able to make your own profits it's a very very reliable kind of business and i genuinely like this business actually like it's so smooth and people use glasses everybody uses glasses whether they're recommended for just for fashion or anything and if you can import like really really nice frames you can also resell to people next thing on our list is lights and when i'm talking about lights like I'm, i don't mean just bulbs i mean reasonable pretty lights that a lot of people are using especially if you're on to like tiktok and youtube and stuff like that you can import led lights you can import sunset lamps you can import pretty lamps i'm going to put pictures on the screen so you know what i'm talking about but you can import these things at a very very low price and then you can sell at a higher price and you would be making your own money so <clears throat> it's also a kind of business that i'm also into as you can see these vines i sell them i sell led lights i sell a lot of lights and you can also even meet people who are already selling these things to like supply to you if you know you're not willing to take the risks from importing from china yourself because importing from china has its own risks, which is why you need to know how to properly import and how to avoid all these scams and stuff like that so you can sell lights you can sell led lights you can sell Different of lights, they are going viral on the world right now, and everyone and everybody is using fairy lights, LED lights, sunset lamps, cute flower lamps. Next thing is cute baskets. 
now it's almost the same thing as storage crates I also there i also sell these things that are like cute little basket that everybody's using like it's very very aesthetic to even look at and now that the world is on to be like everything pretty everything cute you can make a lot of profits from just selling this like you'll be amazed with how much people actually import this basket and how much they sell for you can make your profit you can make your savings and you'll be making your own money and you, you, you can even you can even go a step further and selling like the basic storage crates themselves i'm going to put the screenshot on the screen so you can know what i'm talking about and this actually makes people a whole lot of money and also like i said if you know you don't want to like import or you don't have money to start importing from yourself yet or you just want to start on the very very low key you can also meet people who are already selling these things and you can ask them oh can i drop ship from you do you mind if i drop ship from you, you can drop ship from people who are already selling them i you can drop ship for me i don't really mind i have a lot of people who actually drop ship from my business and you can also buy in like very low quantities like two or three or whatever until you can be able to stand your, on your own and make and order you, these things yourself next thing on the list is mini drawers also on the same page as the cute crate and the storage crates these things are very very cute they're very very aesthetic again i sell these things and they are very very cute like there are so many different designs and they're just so nice especially for students and teenagers or, or even people who are involved in like makeup and glasses they are just it's just a staple a cute staple that you can use in your room next thing is tripod stands now everyone is filming every person you can think of is filming and i don't mean those expensive big tripod stands again i'm going to put pictures on the screen so you can know what i'm talking about but just like the type of tripod stand that i'm using to film right now there are a lot of tripod stands that you can get from china you can drop shit from anybody and these things make a whole lot of money because everybody's filming like everybody wants to be a tiktok everybody wants to be a youtuber everybody's always in their on their phone and they're always filming. and even some of these tripod stands sometimes i don't even use my tripod stand to even film alone i use my tripod stand to like watch a movie or something i can just place it on my table and you can make really really good money from this if you know how to properly advertise and also if you want to know how to properly advertise your goods and how you can um properly put your business out there i also have a video on that that i've made i'm going to put the link in the description box so you can go check that out once you're done with this video it's very very educative i guess and you can learn one or two things from there last thing on today's list is jewelry now i don't mean the simple basic earrings that you see in nigerian markets no i mean standard jewelry i'm also going to put pictures on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about there are so many different cute jewelry that you can import from china or you can drop ship i sell some of these jewelry i don't sell some of them it depends on you but if you can know how to properly get pictures you can even go to something like pinterest you can go to pinterest you can check like jewelry pictures you set them up try to ask your supplier in china or wherever if they sell them you drop ship from them you import them and then you sell at a very very good price as you can see i'm also a i'm a jewelry kind of person but i'm usually too lazy to like change out my jewelry but example is uh, like the type of jewelry i'm currently wearing another type of jewelry you regularly see in nigeria as you can see like they're very very unique i guess see another type there's also this also unique as you can see these are like very very unique um jewelries that you can import and you sell them at a very good price and even this business this jewelry business you don't need a whole lot of money i think you, can, you should be able to start with something as last thirty thousand naira, and you're good to go and that concludes the part one of the video how to not be broke in university number one is try to live below your means so basically if you're making hundred thousand naira in a week in university try to live on seventy thousand naira. If if you if you're making ten thousand naira in a week, try to live on seven thousand naira. Try to live on ten on eight thousand naira. Don't spend all your money. And basically, living below your means will give you enough time to be able to not only manage your finances well, but also give you something called self control, and you will not be, I don't know, you won't spend all your money basically. So living below your means is a way for you to not be broke in university because eventually this money that you're keeping aside would pile up, and one day you just check your savings and then you realize, wow. I've saved all this money and it did not even cost you anything. Second thing is try not to be easily influenced by your friends. Now, I'm not saying, oh, you should like keep only people that are on the same financial level with you as friends. You know, I have people who are in terms of finances are higher than I am. I have friends who are like lower than I am. But knowing how to um, not be influenced by whatever they are buying or whatever they are doing actually helps me a lot so example if my rich friends are like oh Gemma let's go out and let's go and buy something and then I'll have to spend money that I do not have I can easily say no which brings me to the next point learn how to say no learn how to be honest and say no I cannot afford this thing I don't want to do it and you see that in your house 
all these little little expenses usually end up adding up and also stop ordering food all the time like if you can cook at home cook at home what are you well, why are you ordering what's no this fancy app glove why you're giving glove every single day and then later you're not complaining that oh you don't have money like how will you have money when you're spending three thousand naira per meal like are you okay ordering meals is something that although i do order meals but i order meals in like extreme situations where i know that i is that i'm so tired i cannot cook or maybe i'm too busy to cook or maybe i just want to treat myself after a very very long exit week you will not see me ordering food simply because i'm too lazy or something like that like don't do that don't order meals that don't stop ordering food basically i'm not saying stop ordering food stop but stop ordering foods unnecessarily last thing is learn how to not join trends i know you want to wear the most trendiest outfit you want to use the most trendiest phone you want to you want to live the most trendiest life use thrift and use thrift in a good way like there are thrift, you can thrift all these amazing outfits and then you still look bougie like you don't need to spend all your money on trendy things trending this and just following the society or whatever the society deems appropriate for that time of the year or whatever which i feel like that english is not correct but you, you get what i'm trying to say don't follow trends don't live your life based on trends like there are so many things that you can do and there are so many ways you can save money and still look good without breaking your bank and yeah if you are still here thank you so much subscribe if you've not subscribed like if you've not liked and you can also share this video to your friends and family and acquaintance and wherever you think might need a small business idea or a small business this and with that being said bye again bye bye